The skills and capabilities of law enforcement, customs defense, and security forces responsible for border controls to detect firearms trafficking have been significantly enhanced following the detection of firearms trafficking training course. The course, which came to a close on Friday, 24th September, focused on the detection of firearms trafficking through postal and fast parcels at land and maritime borders. Deputy Postmaster General Dennis Inglis expressed gratitude to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, for the well-designed course. And I'm, I'm, I'm heartened that this has not dissuaded agencies from focusing efforts on dealing with other ills that affect our borders. And these ills, for example, I'm speaking about the trafficking of illegal firearms. Um, and this has caused an urgent need for training exercises like this to build capacity and also to implement relevant changes. In that regard, I would like to thank or show my appreciation for UNODC, impacts, CARICOM impacts, and the government of St. Lucia for this timely intervention. Uh, rest assured, we at the post office will ensure that our team members basically employ whatever skills that they learn during the five-day training session. Deputy Comptroller of Customs Sherman Emanuel, describing the training as timely, highlighted its significance in keeping St. Lucia's borders safe. Um, the Customs Department is pleased that we will not only include it, but we could also collaborate with others in this exercise. Um, we believe, like the Royal St. Lucia Police Force and the Postal Service as well, our mandate has a significant national security implication if it is not carried out as it ought to be. So this training is timely. It is timely. Um, and we are happy that we could have had a number of officers benefit from this training. And we do believe that the training will be implemented, will be carried out. And we believe that it is going to positively impact our border security situation. Minister for External Affairs, International Trade, Civil Aviation and Diaspora Affairs, Honorable Alpha Baptiste, noted that such trainings are paramount to preventing crime and keeping the relevant agencies one step ahead of the criminal entities. Police reports recently found that some organized criminal groups have been using parcel services to smuggle firearms into countries, often by selling their parts and components separately because they are harder to detect. So they send a weapon, not in its totality, not the whole weapon, but they send different parts. And you see a real component, it will not arouse any suspicion. And therefore, there must be that nexus between customs, the police, postal services, and every aspect of that chain that is responsible for ensuring that we are smarter than the criminal networks that are sending firearms to our country. 